Yo, what's going on my amigos and amigas, welcome back to a brand new video to what may, may be one of my most controversial videos, but I mean, I made almost 500 videos, and there's been quite a few controversial ones, I don't know, I like to start a conversation, a dialogue, I like to hear what other people think once I say something, once I put it out, and just seeing the response, some people disagree, some people agree, some people are like, yo, you're wrong, but I'll still watch, because at the end of the day, us, YouTubers, it's just one guy or girl and their opinion, it's fun, and I learned something, and hopefully you guys take something with you too, because sometimes i say something you guys are like yo sensitive that was out of line that was stupid i'm like you know what i think you're right but something that i've been meaning to talk about for a long time i guess kind of scared to say because you know I, you can't call out sex workers you can't call them only fans girls out because you're mean or you're an insult you're this, this and that but you know what eh, i don't care <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do whatever I want. How pathetic and how dumb I find people who pay for OnlyFans. I don't imagine myself ever, ever buying someone's OnlyFans for $5, for $10. You might say, well, sensitive, you're just a cheapskate, right? You don't like spending money on the product. <laughs> if you will. And I'm just like, no, I am not going to spend five or ten dollars to see someone's boobs where I could literally just Google that shit for free at like 2.2 seconds, right? I never got the appeal of OnlyFans and this is not me clowning on the girls who do it. I think if you could take advantage of idiots, you know, go for it. At the same time, don't pretend to love your fans and your loyal supporters and thank you so much and I love you and I love you this, this and that because it's cap, you know what you're doing. And there's so many other things that you can do with five to ten dollars. Fuck it, let's make it up 20 because if you like the premium content let's go to twenty dollars right oh my god you could get netflix you could get hulu you, you can get hbo max you can get spotify you even that down bad you can get tinder gold or tinder plus to get some bitches on your dick not virtually but in real life youtube premium like there's so many other services even the sensitive society channel memberships which are like a dollar you can literally put your money into a lot of different things but you decide to put it on boobs and ass it's not me being cheap or me being broke or an incel or hating women it's just me finding it really stupid for guys and girls to pay for OnlyFans when you can literally get that shit for free and i'm just really making fun of the stupid guys who are getting taken advantage of who are paying <laughs> five twenty a hundred a thousand dollars to talk to a girl who doesn't even think about you talk to a girl who only sees you as a wallet and the second you stop paying you know the service is cut you know and i hate how the girls pretend you know oh yeah you're my best friend and I love you and yeah keep donating more money the more you give me the more I love you I think the OnlyFans and the OnlyFans girls staying is a whole different video topic but today I just wanted to chillax maybe crack a cold one get some G feel grab some bitches on your dick Pepsi Mountain Dew if you're a true gamer myself sensitive society will never pay for OnlyFans and the times I've said it and the things on videos or text or whatever I was playing right if I ever met someone and they told me yo sensitive yeah I, I pay for Netflix HBO I would be like okay fine Netflix kind of fell off but but okay, right? It's your money, do whatever you want. And then they tell me, yo, sensitive, I actually signed up for OnlyFans and I paid $25 a month for a girl who doesn't even like me. Yeah, she just sends me pictures of her boobs. I would be like, you're legit a fucking loser. If anyone could explain why you would do that, please let me in the comments below. I can't find a single reason why I would pay. And let's say the girl you're paying for, it's like one of the hottest influencers, right? You can literally find that shit on Reddit. If you pay for OnlyFans unironically, you're legitimately one of the stupidest fucking people to ever exist a lot of people think that you know you open only fans and you're going to be rich in like you know 10 seconds um no you kind of have to have an audience if you are literally a person with like five or 20 or 100 or a thousand followers on instagram let's say five thousand maybe you make a little bit of money you only see big famous people who were already established when a normal ordinary person cannot do it and the people who do are rare examples like how many can you name two three four five out of thousands or hundreds of thousands who have tried this men who pay for only fans gotta be one of the fucking biggest losers and most pathetic people you will ever meet in your life those are the same people who pay for porn those are the same people who pay for tinder plus it needed to be said it needed to be said you know this is more of a chill format not really going for anything crazy nothing original like 1 billion percent this is just my thoughts right will you guys pay for only fans have you ever paid for only fans it's okay i won't shame you and yeah, i'm just here to see what other people think let me know 